Hi there, it's Mike here, Mike Evans. I'm the drummer of the Electric Luddites. We're from Sheffield, England. And this is actually the fifth little video I've done on two box for newbies. And um, this is very specifically going to be um, concerning adding new sounds to your onto your two box machine. And once you've added new sounds on the two box machine, you can then add them onto different kits and uh, create your own kits with the sounds. Now, I explained in an earlier video that the two box for sound format. Let's see if I can open something up here. Uh, kick drums. Right, if I zoom in this, this is a list of the kick drums, okay? The two box sound file is called a DSND file. DSND file. It's not a WAV file, it's a DND, it's a DN, DSND file. Bit of a uh, tongue twist to that one. Uh, but that's the format the two box have created to work with their system. Now, what it means is, in, uh, and they work with the system on the pads, that is, okay? So if you want to hit the pad, it's got to be in this particular format. So if you've got another, if you create a sound yourself as a WAV file, or you download uh, a WAV file with a, with a percussion sound on it, and you want to include that, you have to, it has to be converted. For it to work on the drum kit, it has to be converted into that format from a WAV file. And this is what this bit does. It's very clever. It's very simple. Um, the last video I showed you how to sort of drag and drop uh, existing sounds onto the kits, okay? The way that you create these sounds is basically very similar. You drag and drop sounds. You drag and drop WAV files on, and when you save them, they become the two-box format. Now, let's go to this section here. Okay, on the screen at the moment, I've got uh, a pad with a single uh, a single trigger point on it. Okay, and you can use that for a kick drum, for a percussion sound like a, a cowbell, uh, or a loop. If you create a loop, a WAV file of a loop, you can put that in, and you can save that on this kit. So when you hit it once, it it triggers. Okay, the obviously there's other options. The snares and the toms. I've got two triggers. Okay, the head and the rim. So you go here, the symbols, if I click on the symbols, they've got three. Okay, the cap, the bell, or oh, sorry, the, oh, the cap, the, <laughs> so I'll put my teeth in in a minute, the cap, the bow, and the edge. There's three sounds that are created uh, for a symbol. The eye hat is is more complicated as well because it's also got the fact you got a you got a different sound when you open the push when you press the pedal down when it's closed and open um i'm not going to talk about this because this is a bit advanced to be honest with you and this is supposed to be a series for newbies one of the reasons i can't talk about it is i've never managed to work it out myself yet <laughs> perhaps i'll do that in a couple of months time if i ever need to do uh need a new hi-hat sound but uh the the point is that um this is going to show you how to do it and applying it to the others is fairly easy once you understand how i was going it's it, it actually seems more complicated than it is okay so what i'm going to do is a demonstration because the same thing applies is to create a new snare drum all right a new snare drum sound like this and simply what you do like previously you navigate to the sound you want but instead of the sound being tucked away on that kit somewhere you're just swapping it from one pad to another pad or from one kit to another kit you you know the sounds are somewhere on my computer all right they're somewhere here so what you do is you navigate to that uh and i've done a bit of that earlier so this is a folder uh that i've got with all various bits of drum it stuff in and this here if you see this it says uh, Alesis, okay? Alesis. So if I click on this, basically a couple of days ago I downloaded a load of uh, WAV files of an Alesis DM5, a selection of from Alesis DM5 uh, electronic kit, uh, and that's what these are. 
Okay, um, I went on the internet and I uh, I went on eBay and somebody was selling a load of uh, wild fires and I bought some uh, and I'm, I'm using them on these. So th I'm now going to show you how simple it is. So this this is actually deep in that folder there. You see that folder there? Drum it stuff. If I open that up, there's loads of other folders. This is one of them and this is what's inside it and it's full of WAV files. So let's have a look. We got snare, snare number three. We'll drag that over here. Okay, that's on the head. And let's put snare, whatever, what does that say? Snare 47. All right, snare 47. Put that on the rim. Okay, so we've got a brand new snare drum then. So what we now do is then we file it, okay? And we file a save sound, save sound as. Right, now where do you want to save this? Well, the place to save it is on the drum it. If I click on, it, on this, on the drum it 5 unit itself, you want to save it on that unit and you want to save it in the snare drum folder. Don't you? That's what we want to do. So we'll put like this. Um, We'll change it to A A A A A A A <laughs> just so that we know what it is when we come back in. It'll make it easy for you to understand what we're doing. And as you see at the bottom, okay, you name it whatever you want to name it. When you save it, it automatically becomes one of these D N D S N D D S N D files, which means joins all these other files. And you can drag and drop it onto the kit. So we'll save that there. Boom, boom. So we've got ourselves a brand new snare drum to play with. Okay, so let's play with it. Let's decide. Let's go back and have a re remind you. If you want to see what the... If I press this button here, kit button. If you remember from the last video, I showed you the 100 kits. And we made some changes, didn't we, to this loop kit. Okay. So why don't we put our new snare drum onto that kit. So we'll click on that and up it comes. At the moment we've got this drum and bass sound. So remember what we need to do? Basically we go and we navigate to the snare drum, the new snare drum we've created which is that one yeah, 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 I've did it so it's easy for us to find and remember at the top of the sheet. Drag it across. And what was the drum and bass snare drum is now that with the rim shot on it. So that's the way that you create. So this part is the way that you create the sounds just by dragging and dropping. And then once you've dragged and dropped, fo file it in the folder for that particular set of instruments, I would. Okay, so file the toms under toms, file the snare drums under snare, etc, etc, etc. Because then when you're navigating uh, on this, you can also navigate to the kits on this and swap the sounds on this. You'll be able to find where it is. You will have to sort of think, if it's a snare drum, I'm going to look in the snare drum file. And uh, once you've done that, then you can assign those and say to, to any one of these kits. So that's the end of this particular video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. And I'll tell you a bit more, something else next time. Okay, bye.